to please watch Pixel Perfect tutorials. He's great. Yay! <laughs> hey there, this is Anmesh, and today we are going to learn. You exactly have guessed it right after that really bad impression that I made of this girl, this beautiful girl. And first things first, her name is not Lily. So we got lips to close coming up. Now she's sweet boxing. Okay, jokes apart. Let's get straight into business and jump back into Photoshop. Now I have a reloaded the image. This is actually the finished one. So I have reloaded the image straight from the beginning. Also, the link to the image I'll link up in the description below so that you, my friend, can download and work on it. Now, let's the first thing that we need to do, we need to zoom in tight and we need to make a copy of this background layer. Make a copy press Control J and delete the background layer. This What this does is that this unlocks the background layer. Also, what you can do is, let's go back. To go back, Control Alt Z or if you're using a Mac, Command Option and Z. What you can do is, you can double click the background layer, select the layer name. Okay, let's select back and click OK. This will also unlock the layer. Now. The first thing we need to do, we need to localize the area that we are going to edit. In this case, it is the mouth. So to do to do that, select uh, the polygon lasso tool. What is it? What what is it? Polygon lasso tool. Let's select that and select the area around the lips. Select the maximum area so that we have the flexibility that later when we move the lips a little bit, it doesn't hurt that so much. It doesn't make sharp edges, and we have something to soften. So we need to select a space around the lips. Once uh, once you do that, press Control J. Okay, press Control J. What that does is that makes that area into a different layer. Okay, so we still have the background layer with every part uh, intact, but we have a separate layer for that lip area. Now we can freely edit this, do whatever we want. We can move this and do stuff, but let's keep it as it was. Now, the second step is to delete the thing which is inside the lip. In this case, it is teeth. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been like Lil Wayne has golden teeth or you can have anything like piercings or something. So delete anything which is inside the lips. So to do that, select the Polygon Lasso tool again or your favorite selection tool. I personally would like to use Polygon Lasso tool in this case. So simply select the lips. Also leave some space which uh, will smoothen later. You can take some of the teeth too. So that's not an issue. As you can see, I'm leaving some spaces. That's completely fine. And once you're done with the selection and this ant little thing will come like running ants, press delete. Nothing happens. Why? Because background, there's a layer. Actually, that thing happened. Press Control D if you're using a Mac command D. And let's switch this layer off. As you can see, there's nothing in the background. Why? Because we pressed delete key. So if I turn this back on. Yeah. So we have removed the teeth from this image. Now what we have to do, we have to separate the upper lip from the lower lip so that when we edit them, nothing gets compressed in between. We can separately bring them down and bring them up. Okay. So to separate them, simply just this turn this layer off for now and let's select the polygon lasso tool again and simply make a line dissecting the lips into two. You don't have to be uh, extremely perfect in this but I insist you to be quite a little bit perfect so that the end result is good. Once you do that, this time press Control Shift J, not Control J. Control J copies that certain part into a different layer. Control Shift J cuts that part. Instead of copying, it takes away that part and just pastes it into another layer. So Control Shift J. Now, as you can see, this is a separate layer and this is a separate layer. Both are separate. But also, there's a problem here. See this line, kind of uh, a thin line here. We'll get uh, over it soon. Don't worry about it. We'll uh, manage that later. So these are separate. Now let's name it. So this is the upper lip, right? So let's double click on the layer name and type upper lip. 
just for convenience and this one is the lower lip just name it lower lip okay let's go to the upper lip and we would go to edit puppet warp now this brings up a kind of the puppet war tool into your workspace now what this does it through puppet warp you can actually morph this area you can move this area you can it's it's just kind of liquefy but it's kind of better than liquefy so what do we have to do don't click here i just did for demo demonstration purposes so let's load it up again edit puppet warp now First, select the places which you don't want to move, okay? So in this case, we don't want the corners of the lips to move because when it's, when she's smiling, okay, she's smiling, and now she's closing her lips. One thing is not moving, the corners of the lips, right? The corners of the lips has to be intact. So let's click two points at the corners of the lips. This sets it right into the axis, and let's do that again. And this and then let's uh, make a point in the middle of the lips okay so this is the middle of the lips you don't have to look photographically you have to look in reality because in reality this is the middle of the lip so you, you don't have to select this area you have to select this area so once you do that let's simply drag it down drag it down okay so we have dragged down uh, the upper lip also this is kind of protruding we can uh, create a point here uh, create a point here and we can bring this down too a little bit also had we not created points here and here what would have happened that if I had created a point here and moved it down so along with this part this part also would have come down so we are fixing these points as an axis on which we are moving the lips press enter we are good to go now let's move up the lower lip so let's select the lower lip and go to edit puppet warp again and which parts do we don't want to move simply this part and also this part okay let's select the middle and this since the lower lip is much bigger than the upper lip what we have to do we have to select a point in the middle select a point between these and these select a point between these and these okay now let's bring it a little bit up okay so don't uh, worry about that much perfection right now because we are going to cure it with liquify okay so does a pretty good job amazing job now let's press enter simply it has done a brilliant job now what we can do we can go to liquify filter go to liquify in liquify let's zoom in a little bit little bit sorry and then which layer are we editing now the lower lip right we are editing the lower lip so make sure that this show backdrop is checked okay use all layers is checked and mode in front is checked then we want to edit the lower lip right to edit the lower lip we want to take the lower lip behind the upper lip so this is the upper lip so we want to take the lower lip behind the upper lip so the upper lip beneath it the lower lip so it goes kind of under the lower lip so we need to see the upper lip so what do we do use select the upper lip so this way just the upper lip shows up had i clicked all layers and if the background layer was turned on everything would show up so make sure this upper lip is selected and you can increase or decrease the opacity of the upper lip using this slider okay so let uh, let it be that and I, I in fact i can actually make it full so that i can see that but remember only the lower lip will be affected because we have selected the lower lip layer so let's bring it nudge it up a little bit okay 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 so this is not happening because let's bring the opacity down now let's try yes when when the opacity is completely full you just cannot edit it that's one of the things that you cannot do so let's bring the opacity a little bit down and let's uh, try to edit it let's take it a little bit up until the lip is closed okay simply also in liquify you don't have to do everything at once don't do it like that okay you need to nudge it slowly 
So what would be the brush size? How would you decide the brush size? Whatever you want to move, the brush size has to be a little bit larger than that. So in case we want to move the lip up, the complete, the jawline area. So the jawline area is this big. We need a little bit, a little more, uh, little more bigger brush and we are good to go. Make sure you overlap it a little bit. And once you do that, once you're happy with your results, click OK. Boom. Now there is cleaning up. Now, as you can see, the upper lip has brought with it a little bit of teeth. We need to clean that. To clean that, simply just select the upper lip and zoom in a little bit. Also, select the brush and make a mask. Click this. If the mask is white, remember, if the mask is white, paint in black. If the mask is black, paint in white. So it's white and make the brush a little bit smaller. Black is already selected. Okay. And if this not black, double click it and select black and simply paint over the areas where there is a little bit of white. Make sure the flow is 100, the opacity is 100. Okay. And simply Select over the areas, paint over the areas where you think the uh, a little bit white. Okay, we did that. Let's uh, come back to the lower lip and here also we create a mask and select the air. No, this is not looking good, not looking good. What if we turn off this and see what happens? Okay, okay. We need to cut a little bit more. Let's go back to the mask of the upper lip and let's go again, select, uh, erase the rest of the teeth yeah so I have deleted a lot here so what I can do is I can go back and select white here so just to, so to set this to white press X so the color will be changed and then when you paint it over again the thing that you have erased will come back simply now this is good I'm happy with it let's zoom out a little bit yes. this is looking fairly nice but there is a thing yet to be done. Done. Now, if I turn on this layer, it's looking good. But as you can see that here are a few sharp edges. These are not looking natural. How we can get around this? How can we solve this? Is we can always go ahead, let's turn off this layer and select the upper lip, the mask of the upper lip, this one, and make sure brush is, uh, brush is selected. And then uh, let's make the brush a little bit bigger and decrease the flow okay decrease the flow to around 30 and paint over this area until the edges become soft yes we are painting with white paint with black okay then it will get erased so it's getting soft zoom in a little bit make the brush a little bit smaller and paint over the skin we just need the lips and the lips merging gradually with the face okay so yeah be careful around the edges oh this is fine here too always be careful around the edges now let's go back to the lower lip and we are going to soften the lower lip also there's one more thing that we can do we can soften here to it we can see a little bit of hard edge right there so we can always go ahead and soften this up. no this is not looking good we can go to the upper lip and soften this up make it make the brush a little bit smaller uh, and come here to the mask don't select the layer and soften this up a little bit just a little bit so that it looks natural and let's come back let's look here whether it's looking natural or not it's natural it's good it's select white and paint over a little bit and let's come back to the lower lip and we need to make it softer too make sure you have uh, you have black selected and then just simply paint over the edges to make it soft now I think we are good to go let's turn on the background layer yes we are good to go it's looking good isn't it Something is wrong. Yeah, you can see a line here, line of the lip.
right here. So you can select the lower lip and select the white color and paint over this line. Okay, now I think we're good to go, right, are we? I think yes. So let's look at the before and after of how it was before and how is it now. Let's make a group of these two layers and press Control G, select uh, both the layers by holding the controller command in Mac uh, and press Control G to make a group. So this was before, this is after. So guys, that's all for today. That's how you close some lips in Photoshop. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Till then, stay tuned and do consider subscribing for more tutorials, tips, tricks, news from the creative community. And till then, happy Photoshopping and stay tuned. I so forgot to record this. I just wanted to say that I also have two tutorials on portrait retouching lined up. The, the one is on the retouching skin, how to retouch skin professionally. And the other one is on how to add shine and dimension to hair in Photoshop. Also, do consider subscribing and to subscribe, click the end card right here somewhere. Okay, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.